What is up everyone and welcome back to ANR Gaming. This video we are going to be talking about what to buy from the shops. So obviously Dislike just dropped, it is a global launch and it is time to learn some things that are really going to help you out. So let's just go ahead and hop right in. So first of all, shop, very important in this game. You can buy tons of stuff here. We'll start off with the gold shop. So main thing here is that you can buy a bunch of different things and it refreshes every day. Um, you can buy anything from experiments as you see now you typically would want to buy the higher level experiments if you do want to get them um, but that isn't high up on the priority list mostly you want to look for gold records whenever you can find them they pop up on occasion and for those of you that are okay spending a little bit you can actually refresh for only 20 crystals one time a day and you have a chance of finding them so usually that equates to you finding them faster than you spending 200 gems worth which is what one crystal or one record is worth so overall you're saving yourself some money now you can also find some relics in here you want to shoot for five maybe six star relics certainly six star if you can find them but this kind of gives you the opportunity to find some really uh you know heavily statted ones ones that you know that you're going to be using especially give you more of an opportunity for the uh, second and the fourth one now we're going to go to the friendship shop now, this one's pretty straightforward. You can only buy like two things that are actually worth something here. Stamina two times a day, and then those stickers as much as you can. Um, you can only get them one time, but you always want to get them every day because you're going to end up with a lot more stickers than what you'll need. You can also get those rare star mods I just bought, but it's not super necessary. Then we have over here in the tournament shop. This one for sure, every single time it refreshes. Uh, you want to go ahead and get that gold record, of course. It's kind of just like the rule of thumb here. You always want to get the gold record whenever you can from any part of the shop. Um, you can also go ahead and get those Nexus crystals like I just got. You know, it, it ends up costing the equivalent of one gold record, but you can only buy 150 per day. So just keep that in mind. Now, those two that I'm clicking at right now, the <laughs> Legendary Starmon and the Legendary Abilamon, those are the only other two things that you might want to consider getting only if you have an excess of this currency. Because Legendary Abilamons especially, you can only get those from achievements and events. Legendary Starmons are really tough to get, but you can make those yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, move over to the Cube Shop. All right, so here we have, obviously, you see 70% discount on those elites. Um, you can look for those. Those are all four statted, so they're flawless, which means that they're going to be your best bet. Um, those are the best thing to spend your currency on currently. But, you know, it has a, a long refresh time. It's a week, and you want to look to make sure that you're really getting one that you know you're going to want, okay? But this is the best thing to spend that particular currency on. Um, just make sure you really are buying the ones that you know you're going to use and are statted well. Um, because that's what's going to really save you in the long run. And the investment that you make on relics, especially to get to level 15, is no small task. So just be wise. Um, of course, you're going to get the gold record anytime you can, as I mentioned before. And um, from there, that's pretty much the only thing that you really need to use for the, for the uh, blue cube currency. But you can get some of the other things just kind of whenever you need it. Um, you know, the, that Epic Abilamon right there is 50% off. Um, you know, you might want to go ahead and grab that one. It's it's once per refresh, so you know it's it's not a terrible purchase. Um, but yeah, you always want to make sure that you certainly have enough per week to get that gold record. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the club shop. So the club shop here, once again, you want to, this is why you want to join a club ASAP. You want to get that club up to level three ASAP because that's when you unlock the, your first gold record. And obviously you want to get that every single time priority number one the other things you could get here of course you could get the experiments if you want but it's not super necessary I would shoot immediately for my secondary being um, the Melanie right there uh, that's Medusa um, she is an exclusive to this store so if you want to unlock her she isn't particularly amazing but if you want to unlock her um, she is there. It's not a bad way to spend it. Just make sure that you always have enough currency once again to get that gold record and that XP boost that I'm, I'm looking at right now. Um, you know, that's not bad. You can get that, especially after your 30 day experience boost runs off. I'm assuming they will have that on global. Um, but the you can't double up on that. You can't get the XP boost on top of your global 
um, 30 day. It will just suspend your XP boost until your 30 day is done. But uh, that's pretty much it right there for the shop. Pretty straightforward. Make sure that you're prioritizing all of those things. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's some flexibility in what you want to do, especially in the gold shop. That's where you have the most flexibility. But you definitely want to, uh, yeah, just prioritize all of those things. You know, stay up to date with all the currency that you can get in the game. There's several different forums, especially Point War. So pay attention to that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to tune into the other ones we have. We have top 10 tips for beginners, pros. And then we also have how to get uh, Gabrielle, who's the best character in the game, ASAP. So yeah, please check out the other videos. So thank you very much, and we will see you next time.